Hey guys, welcome back to the Witchcraft Cycle Workshop. On this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your clutch on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. Uh, this is going to cover most all Harley Davidsons from the old Evos all the way up to the new bikes. First, I'm going to show you how to do one on a big twin, and then I'm going to show you how to do one on a Sportster. Sportsters are just a little bit different, but we're going to cover both of them. So let's take a closer look. All right, from your clutch lever, you're gonna have a cable. Comes out, you follow your cable down, and what you're gonna find somewhere along the line is this corrugated rubber boot. Slide the boot back out of the way, and what we're gonna do is take a half inch and a 9 16 and we're gonna loosen this nut this is the lock nut. Once we have that loosened, we're gonna take, and what we wanna do is shorten the cable. We're gonna shorten the cable to put slack in it before we do the actual clutch adjustment. So, here we go. Now, good bit of slack in the cable, so now we can go down. If you're doing a three hole all change, you've already got your clutch inspection cover removed. This is what you're going to find. What we have here is 11 16 nut. This is the lock nut that holds the adjustment. And, you know, sometimes a regular wrench don't quite get in there. So what I've done over the years, old yard sale wrenches, cheap tools, China made, heat it up and bent it. Fits in there nicely. Another option is take an old socket weld it to the end of a wrench that gets in there but we want to break that nut loose we're going to turn it back a little ways we're going to take our allen wrench and we want to turn it in until it seats and what we we don't want to crank it down but we basically want to just it turns very easily and you'll feel it stop that's where it makes contact. You don't want to keep cranking, just that point where it makes contact. From that point, we want to turn it back half to full, somewhere in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to hold that adjustment in the center and turn our 11 16 nut back. And we want to make sure you hold the center adjustment half to a full turn out and then lock that nut back down doesn't take much just snug it up but that is the clutch adjustment itself there's a rod that goes all the way through to the other side and that leaves you just a little bit of clearance on that rod and bearing so it's not constantly riding on there now with that adjusted we go back over here to our cable and we're going to lengthen it back out and we're going to take it out a ways and we're going to give our handle a few tugs okay we have a little bit too much play so we're going to go a little further and you just go back and forth and what we what we really want to do is we want an adjustment to where when we pull this back you can see a sixteenth to an eighth inch gap between the housing and and the end of the furl here so see that little little bit of adjustment you want to be able to just just have that's a little snug I'm gonna loosen it back up just a hair we want just a little bit of play to where when you pull that out, you have a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch adjustment. Take our lock nut and lock that setting back down. Put a wrench on it, lock it tight. We're going to slide our rubber boot back over. And that's a clutch adjustment. Very simple. If you're doing an oil change, you already have access to it. You might as well take a minute and go ahead and adjust your clutch. Now that's going to be most all Harleys, big twins, 
from Evo on up to the new ones. Now I'm going to show you how to do a Sportster. Basically the same thing, but a little bit different. But let's take a look at the Sportster and see how it differs. All right, if you have a Sportster, same thing, a little different. Again, follow your clutch cable down and you're going to find an adjustment under this rubber boot, pull the boot up. This is an aftermarket cable, so it's not half and nine sixteenths. This one's actually seven sixteenths, but there's a flat spot here. There's a little nut here. We're gonna break it loose. And then we're gonna shorten this cable up. You always shorten the cable before you try to adjust the clutch itself. You have to have that slack in there before you go to the clutch itself. Depending on the Sportster you have, you may have a complete cover to remove. Some of the older ones, you have just a small cover right here that you can remove. This one here, we're removing the whole cover. You may or may not have to take your mid controls out of the way, but as you're taking this off, be careful. What you're going to find is a little spring connected to a little nut. And that's, it's got flat spots on it and your set screw has flat spots on it. This is how we lock the adjustment in. Now, on the big twin, we put an Allen wrench and we went clockwise until it got tension. On this, we're going to take a screwdriver and we're going to go counterclockwise. We're going backward. But again, we turn it until we feel that tension right there. And we're only going to go back about a quarter turn. So their Sportster's a little different. We're going to go counterclockwise till we feel tension. Then we're going to back it off about a quarter turn. And then we take our little lock nut and fit it in there and make sure you don't lose the little spring. And then we carefully put our cover back on. We go back to our cable, we lengthen it out, we want the same amount of play as we did before. You want just a little bit of play in the handle to where when you pull the cable, you have a sixteenth to an eighth inch gap. Lock it down, put your boot back. That's your clutch adjustment. So that will cover the clutch adjustment on 90 something percent of all Harley Davidson out there. If you happen to have one that has a hydraulic clutch, there is no adjustment. But most all of them have a cable, and that's how you adjust the clutch on your Harley Davidson. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time.